I'm in the jungle. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, it's Debbie and, and Brianna. Hello. We are here doing another in the series of Cue the Cues, just a little video series where we explain some cues you might hear in a yoga class. And today we're going to do hip width distance. <laughs> yeah. So that's something you've probably heard a lot in your yoga classes. I know Debbie and I use it a lot. Like put your feet hip width distance. Yeah. Oh. So um, I just a really easy way that I like to cue it is I tell people, and Debbie's going to demonstrate here for us, I tell people just to make two fists and put your fists together and then widen your feet out just a little bit and then you just place your fists right in between the middle of your feet and then that is usually hip width distance. So you can bend your knees as much as you need to to make that accessible for you and then she's just going to remove her hands, stand up, and there you go. Voila. <laughs> I can tell you another way that I do sometimes too, I explain to people that hip width is if you find those bones right here in your hips on the front of your body and you just draw your hands straight down where your fingers point, that's hip width. Some people think erroneously that it can be like you take them to the width of their outer hips. It's really dropped directly below these bones so that you're stacking. Bones. Yeah, so that's a really good point. That's the whole purpose of the cue is that we're stacking all of our bones so that we're not putting any stress on our ankles or on our knees or making sure everything's in a really nice straight line. Yeah, so another cue that you might hear um, specifically when coming into a chair pose is sometimes we'll cue where your big toes are going to touch and your heels are just a sliver apart. So again, Debbie's going to demonstrate this. So she's got her big toes touching, heels just a tiny little bit apart, almost like you're pigeon toed. So then where she's going to shift right into her heels and sink her hips really low and bring her hands to heart center or alongside her ears, whichever. So again, the principle is the same. We want the knees over the ankles. We want the ankles right behind the second toe so that all of our bones are taking an equal amount of weight here, especially when we start putting more stress on them when we're sinking into the joints and the muscles a little bit more. So yeah, thanks Debbie. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah. One of the things too that I like to say sometimes when you're doing the big toes to touch positioning of your feet is I like if you can look at the outside edges of your feet and if they're more parallel to the edges of the mat or parallel to each other. That's yeah, another, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And then I think the hip width distance cue works for chair pose as well. You know, for some people it's just not comfortable and not even possible in your body maybe to have your big toes touch and to sink low like that. So you can certainly come back to that hip width distance, measuring it either from the hip points or with those fists, and then just make sure that your knees are behind your ankles and that those heels are behind the second toes again. So yeah. Very good. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you.